Tyler Jankowski is back at the station. Tyler, hey, uh, this could be a lot worse. In fact, it's pretty comfortable out here, really. Yeah, it could be a lot worse. I mean, we could be 15 degrees right now with snow and gusts to 40 miles per hour. So I know it's a little bit windy out there, but at least the temperature is 43. So even though the wind shaves off a few degrees, we have a good starting point out there. It's even 37 in Saranac Lake and 35 in Newport. So in the typically colder spots, it's not even that bad as of almost six o'clock. You can actually see there's nothing on radar. We do have a few clouds out there, but it's a mainly clear start to the night. So it's certainly dry for the tree lighting. There's the wind report from Burlington, 13 miles per hour out of the south. So when you combine that with the temperature, it feels like 36. So not all that bad out there. 25 is the wind chill in Newport and 36 in Rutland. And we're not falling that much tonight. It's the wind that keeps blowing that keeps us from falling too much. So by tomorrow morning, Morning. We're not even below freezing in Burlington. We're looking at 38 for the low, 30 in Lebanon, and 35 in Rutland. Now, the problem with tomorrow is that there's a cold front on the approach, but I really don't want to oversell this rain. I mean, it looks like a few showers here and there midday through the afternoon hours, and that's it. It's really not much rain in the rain bucket. So for the World Cup at Killington, it turns cloudy, but there's not a lot of rain. I think it'll be fine. Temperatures will be above freezing, so the snow will be on the softer side. In the Champlain Valley specifically, we're looking at 48, so it's pretty close to 50. The breeze will be pretty strong, though. We could have gusts up to 35 miles per hour, at least initially tomorrow, and then things will settle down. And look at that 52 in Bennington almost 50 in Lebanon and Springfield. And here's the wind early tomorrow out of the south up to 30 miles per hour. But by later in the day, the wind really starts to settle down. That's after the front goes through. But the change, the other change, is that colder air blows in. So I think there could be a small snow accumulation in the mountains by early Sunday. I don't think that's the case in the Champlain Valley. There will be a good amount of clouds on Sunday, but it turns out to be a mainly dry day. Temperatures on Sunday don't climb above freezing in a lot of spots. And then we watch a patch of snow, a, a widespread patch of light snow Sunday night into early Monday morning. It's possible that some spots see an inch or two inches of snow. We'll keep an eye on that. That's into early Monday. That wraps up and after that we actually have a nice dry stretch of weather and you see the indication here on Futurecast that pretty much everyone has at least a shot at a little covering there going into Monday morning. So that's what I mean. The taste of winter here Sunday and Monday. It's on the cold side 32. That's in the Champlain Valley. So the mountain locations will be in the 20s for highs on both Sunday and Monday. So here's the recap. We have a couple of rain showers tomorrow dry on Sunday other than a little bit of mountain snow early and then everyone sees a little taste of snow Sunday night into early Monday. But Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday all look pretty good in the 40s with a mix of sunshine and clouds. That's how it looks for now. Stu, back to you. Tyler, thank you. Well.